Eastwich on the outskirts of Manchester and the Church of St Hilda who have been called in to make over a bit of churchyard by Sharon Lewis. Hello. Good to see you. Now, who's Hello. this? This is my dad, Colin. Right, now why did you want us to come here, Sharon? Well, it was just as a surprise for Father Croft. Um, he tends to do everything for everyone else, so I thought it would be quite nice to turn the tables and get something done for him. And this is it, this long, narrow strip? This is it, yeah. Now, what's special about this man? Um, he's a, a character, very individual. I think I wrote to you and described him as a cross between a Rottweiler and John Inman, because he's a bit camp and a bit ferocious, <laughs> but very soft, really. Brides need somewhere dry to walk, yeah. so we need a central path. Now, we can't afford to do a stone one, certainly in two days we wouldn't have time to lay it, so I'm using a mixture of hogging, which is kind of dense clay, with gravel or shingle whackered, densely packed into the surface of it, so hopefully it's well drained, it won't stain trains, mm. but it's cheap. And then six beds down either side with, with flowers in, but the important thing is these spires made out of timber and a central gothic archway, again with a spire on either side, or with climbing roses over them, so you'll be able to reflect the spire of the church in the spires down here. What's <laughs> a strange presence on my... This is Tommy Walsh. Morning. This is Sharon, whose fault it is. It's not my fault. <laughs> well, somebody's got to pay for this big time because I've got no sleep over this drawing. Alan? Yeah? Can I introduce Jim to you? Jim! Hi, Alan. Are you the other half? I am, yes. To walk down this muddy path? That's right. Are you prepared to muck in? <laughs> Definitely. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. I thought What's you'd that? have finished How by now. How is the what time do you call this line? Well, some been? of us have been... Um, Getting roses. Ah, well, right. What sort of getting roses? What have you sort of got then? Oh, very nice, beautiful roses. There's a butt in your voice. Mm. No time to worry. Here comes the diesel roller hired for compacting the new path. When you said you'd ordered a roller, I thought it was your transport home. I wished. St Hilda's parishioners have contrived to keep Father Croft away for two days, leaving the spiritual guidance of the community in the hands of Geoffrey Robinson, the head verger of Manchester Cathedral and ground force conscript. <laughs> it doesn't matter what's in this. <laughs> now, I'm about to ask you to do something very silly. OK? okay. You take my arm. Yeah? You can be bride or groom, it doesn't matter. We'll just have to see that it's very comfortable. Or you can be my mother, father, if I'm the bride. But it's comfortable to walk in between those two pegs, isn't it? There's plenty of room. It is, definitely. Go. Are you trying that? No, I didn't. Yes, you did. We want a good straight edge to the path cut with the half moon iron, but the turf stripper can shift the bulk of the grass. The last one to the other end is a sissy. To see how far I've got. Oh, go away. Go on, go on, push me. Horrible <laughs> man. Go on, get out. <laughs> All you need to do is that, and, it'll come up. and then roll, and it will come oh, up. Right. Just oh, like right. that. Oh, it's all been cut for you, oh. and the soil underneath is the best we've ever worked with. Yes! <laughs> Inspired by St Hilda's, my design of garden spire took Tommy a while to perfect. Wisely experimented at home and had his friend Jimmy the Joiner make him up a kit of parts for assembly on site. It's all got to be screwed together, so he hasn't really cheated much. Of course, it all wants painting silver birch. Nice job for someone. Because we got excess here. Yeah. Right, here we go. Now you said you love painting. Probably won't by the time you finish this. There are six spires and six million sides to each one, so we'll leave Sharon and a neighbour Roz to it. Okay. I want to overlap an inch at this end so I can get that board shooting off up there. This is um, 
it's gravel board which goes on the bottom of fencing normally. But what I want to do here is retain the lawn and retain the hogging path in the middle. If we just put hogging down here and rolled it now and then put the gravel into the top, both edges could be a bit flaky. So this is to consolidate both sides. Oh, it's going somewhere for a few inches, anyway. It's also surprisingly vertical. <laughs> this could call for super, superwoman, couldn't it, this? <laughs> now, look, if she starts this machine and we can't, that's the end of us as television broadcasters. I know, we won't let her near it. No fear. How are we going now? Well, we were. This roller shakes, rattles and rolls, first of all firming the subsoil under the path. Just there. Right at the end. Well, you've got to have something to do, Alan. <laughs> You'll be asking for me pen knife in a minute. We were told that up here you can't get hogging proper. It's a sort of clay. This is crushed limestone, which hopefully We'll do exactly the same thing. And the large and the small particles will bind together when I roll them. A lot of bags of this. Five tonnes of it. That should be enough for a four-inch base layer all the way to the other end. Don't go into there yet, we're going to get the towers in. Does it look like I'm going into there? Not yet. Right. She can't just say <laughs> no all right. It's got an issue. Mind you, it's late. What is it? 25 past four. What a long day. Did you see that? Do you think you'll have enough? Well, we've calculated that we think we will, yes. Well, I came round because I thought you forgot it existed round there because no one's been round to see us for the last... Have you seen how long this blooming path is? Yeah, that's why I'm wondering whether you've got enough. If you haven't got enough stuff and you find you run a bit short, just run it a bit thinner. And, and then put a bit more gravel on top. That's it, and roll it and it'll be just well, as good. Well, thank you for coming around and telling us that because I couldn't have worked out that myself. Well, right. glad to be of assistance. Need a professional landscaper on. Don't you? Yeah, really? shame we've only got Tommy. <laughs> no, somehow the words roll over jackpot will never have quite the same meaning to me. Cool, <laughs> crumbs. I think we ought to roll off home now, don't you? That's not bad for a day's work, is it? What do you think then, Sharon, honestly? It's taking shape. It's going to look good. <laughs> Come back tomorrow, please. OK. Last time. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Suggestion, not an invitation. <laughs> good morning, St Hilda. Good morning. The sun's still shining. It is Manchester. Oh, what are we going to do this morning? Finish off this hogging path, then get the gravel rolled in. Um, lots of... Oh, you've turned... Oh, look, bless! Ros, <laughs> did you sleep with that kind of paint in your arms? Uh, nearly. I dreamt about it all night. I'm not surprised. <laughs> We've got half as much gravel as we had hogging, but we only need two inches of this, so we will have enough. Say, big 
ones there, so okay. share Lovely. them out between you. Does that you mean I've got to share these? Or? Well, if you can eat all eight of them, <laughs> no, <laughs> do no. enjoy them though. Okay. Well, that's very kind. Thank you okay. very much. Okay. We all love the programme, so we, uh, we're delighted to give you something. Well, thank okay. you very much. Thank okay. you. Bye-bye okay. now. Bye. Bye. Yes. Did he have a steam engine as well? <laughs> it seems like it. <laughs> well done. It doesn't look too bad, does it? It doesn't. That's the first hogging and shingle path I've ever made. <laughs> I hope to goodness he can get those spires in soon and get yeah. on it. Go on, go and nag him. Go and nag 25 him. To I'll do it. I'll go nag him. Do you like our path? Oh, don't run, run on the path. On it. Don't run on the path. Oh, they're good. Way dreaming Ooh. spires. The holes will have to be big there, though, Tommy. See? No, no, do you know that <laughs> rain sheet that we've got you know on the floor? Me? The one you just punctured with your fork. <laughs> what worries me is how she, oh, she's always plagued with self-doubt. <laughs> yes. And what do you think? I think it's Stunning. lovely. Wonderful. And we've finished making this so it can be painted, and then we'll cut the holes out, yeah, and but then that you means... can have the two in ones. Well, can you not do the holes first, because you're completely holding us up now, you yeah. see? Mean? Right. We just drop everything we're doing. Okay. You know. <laughs> We've got nothing better to do but just jump to their every command, you see. <laughs> you don't change, Alan, do you? you now you love us, really. <laughs> <laughs> the holes are to plant roses in if they come. If you ever buy yourself a pair of shears, about the most important thing to look for is that, because that cushions it when it closes. Sometimes you get them with plastic handles and they have two pieces of plastic and that works as well. But do check when you're buying a pair that they don't jar your wrists too much. because they've just been dragged through edge backwards. <laughs> <laughs> about it, hasn't it, from this angle? Is it on here today, Mr. Oh, Titchmarsh? No. <laughs> You've only got quiche. Oh! Yeah. Tommy's, Tommy's got a dinner today. But real men don't eat quiche. Oh, I've got a special. He's got a real dinner. Yeah. 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 Well, because he asked for one, you see. Oh, oh my goodness. That. It's just a quiche. Well, it's a whole quiche. This isn't fair. <laughs> it was because they feel sorry for him. It's not because I shout at everybody, nobody loves me, and I get four quiches to share. Whew. This is Viburnum opulus sterile, famous for two things. One, the fact that its flowers look like snowballs, that's why it's called the snowball tree, and the other is black fly, which it tends to get at its shoot tips, but what a wizard plant at this time of year, mid-late May, for a, a churchyard where brides are going to walk past. Isn't that a cracker? And on the other side, Spirea, the bridal wreath. Be even nicer when, if, 
the roses come. What we're doing here, in order to try and preserve these for St Hilda's, we're putting digging holes, putting concrete anchors down with steel straps, which will screw to these, and hopefully they won't walk off in the night. Oh, don't run. Honestly, I'm used to squirrel hair brushes, you know, for my watercolours. Well, there's got to be some good use for squirrels. <laughs> I don't, this isn't squirrel, this is probably old wombat. <laughs> Well, when people are knocking your trestles. Do you want to do one that side? Yeah. It's almost straight, isn't That's it? That's fantastic, yeah. <laughs> I love that. SH St Hilda, or yeah. when you're coming into church. <laughs> James Watson, Black Dyke Band. Uh, we play your title music. You do? Yes, and uh, we only live a few miles away across in Yorkshire, so we heard you were here, so we thought we'd come and play on the programme, if that's all right. We're getting it live, are we? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wonderful. It's all right on one condition. What's that? That I can conduct when we play the end music. No problem, no problem. <laughs> and more excitement. The roses have arrived. <laughs> and the primary school with chairs for the band. You want the all of you should have a piece called Panic, Panic 2, yeah? It's ten to four, and I'm in the words of the bard, cream crackered, but the bishop's arrived. The Bishop of Beverly, in his purple. Oh, it's fire. Yes. It's good. Oh, yum, it smells so nice. Does that look good? Does that look good, everybody? <laughs> One, two, three. I think it's terrific, actually, yes. We just need a focal point, which is sad, because it's looking right down here. Well, There's a blank wall at the end. Down at the end, in church, we've got a statue of St Hilda. Job done. Impossible to clear the street, so we've asked the band to play, so that when he arrives in a minute, Father Croft thinks the crowds are for them. <laughs> Marsh. I'm just not Candy Cameron, is it? <laughs> oh, and you're not Silla Black. I'm not. Oh, surprise, surprise. <laughs> so this is Charlie Dimmock. Oh, nice. She's not Silla. Oh! Well, Shannon. Good to Raise me, I never lived this down. And these are your years. church ones all over the This is the bishop. Oh, I know the bishop well. <laughs> oh, we, we didn't think we'd get away with oh, it, but it's I wonderful. Know. He's a lovely man, you know. <laughs> we, had this, we had this little phone call. From this young lady. lady. Oh. Said that you said the churchyard was a disgrace. And that you wanted something doing with it, so we just. Oh, I did. It. I did. Well, you see, my big mouth. And if mouths. you look down there, 
That was beautiful. You see yeah. it at the end. Oh, Holy Hill, she's smiling. She never <laughs> smiles. <laughs> Never, never here. <laughs> well, I think there's a hint of a grin at the transformation of Grassy Strip to Wedding March Path. And in years to come, as roses twine together across St Hilda's Arch, the happy couples can pass beneath, surrounded by fragrance, to live happily ever after. No, there's something I've always wanted to say. Uh, well, yeah. well, in front of a bishop? Yes, especially in front of a bishop. All I've always wanted to say is, oh, bishop. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much. <laughs> I'll have to say you're going to preach one Sunday, Alan. How about that? Oh, no, yeah. I don't <laughs> I'm oh, too naughty to preach. Oh, okay, oh, oh, so God bless you all. And and thank you. you very much. There you are, Colin. You worked hard. There you are, Father Croft. You are most kind, Alan. You're going to heaven one day. Uh, well, I hope. Oh, look at this. Yes. This is Mary Rose, and she isn't a wreck, though she feels like one because she's worked so hard over the past couple of days. Another Mary church one. Wonderful. I think we'll all so take that bottle away from you, Alan. I'm sure we <laughs> should. I think I'm sure. I don't get it right in a couple of more goes. <laughs> <laughs> so, from, from the Bishop and from Father Croft and from Holy Hilda, cheers. Hey. Am I allowed to do it now, then, James? Yeah. Yeah. Fine, I'll put my glass down because I don't trust anybody with it. I'll get the, the back. Thank you very much. You, from the Black Dyke Band. I've always wanted to do this. Here we go. Ta-da! <laughs> One, two, three, four. <laughs> There's a makeover show with a difference next here on UK TV Gardens. The more questions answered correctly, the more dramatic the transformation. It's Garden Invaders coming up in just a few moments. Yeah.